Hello my viewers and welcome to this lesson in Advanced Steel. In this lesson, I want to teach you on how you can create your grids in Advanced Steel. Now, you know very well that grids are very, very important because that's the first step that you need to undertake, okay? You need to create your grids according to the layout of your building. And then when it comes to the placement of your column, you just follow those interse intersections where the grids are and you know, model your columns, okay? Now in Advanced Steel, there are different ways of creating those grids and I'll just focus on the most useful too okay of course i'll show the other options but i'll focus on the most useful too which you are going to use most of the times okay so now i just want to ask you that if you like what i'm doing on this channel make sure that you don't just watch the videos like the videos and also subscribe to this channel and for anyone who'd like to learn you know other softwares like revit architecture revit structure robot structure analysis make sure that you check the links in the description you might be interested in those courses so without waste much of your time let's get started in this tutorial Okay, so the first thing that I'll start with, let me just delete everything here, but just select like that and delete on my keyboard, okay? So you see that we just have the UCS right there. Now, if I want to start creating the grids, you see that under the objects here, we have the grids and we have several options. We have the first one, building grid, single axis grid. We have grids with four axes. We have grid with group by distance. And this is the one where we are going to, to, to know focus so much on in terms of the attention because this is the useful tool that you want to use in terms of creating the grids. Of course, I'll show how the other ones are working. We also have the curved one. Okay, so the first one is the building grid. Just click on the grid there and you just need to select two diagonal points. For example, the first point could be this one. And let me just uh, you can remove the author mode, that author mode by just typing F8 on your keyboard as you can see from here. So I'll just pick that point and that point, you see that it's going to give you the grids. If I just, you know, click that one there, the grid there, see that I have the total, that is the distance, the sequence, you see that that is number one, just one, and those are four. You can see I can create, select that one. We have the first grid there. I can go to the second one. You see that the color is even changing depending on what I'm selecting here and you can adjust, okay? So this is how you can create a quick grid just in this simple way, okay? But I'll, as I said, this is not the focus for this lesson. I'll select on it and simply delete it. Then the next one is just a single axis, okay? This one, if you want to add maybe after creating those and you want to add maybe uh, a, 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 just a single axis you can do this as the name is suggesting if i can just click on that i can just define the first point and the second point you see that i have that that single that single grid so i'll cancel it select on it and just delete then you see that we have the other one you can just create some grid like you create the first line of grids, maybe the vertical ones as a separate grid and the horizontal one as a separate grid. So if I just select on that, you see that I can click the first point, then the second point, then the direction of the length. I can maybe if I make sure that actually for this one, make sure that let me just redo it. I just want to type F8 on my keyboard so I lock it. So the first point, the second point, then direction of the length of the group, this one, as you can see, I have the grid in that direction. So let me just cancel it. Then if you want to go in the other direction, just select on it. I'll pick, let me just override the snaps, shift, uh, right click. Let me say end point. I want to pick that point. Then just pick that point. Then that direction you can see that you have the other grids and you can change them all the properties are here as you can see okay the options are the same okay now i'll focus so much on this one and all these options will be looked at in that you know option where you are going to be using most of which one the, the one we are going to be using most of the times so you can see that all the options are the same but i'll just close this one and you see that if i select on that i can even you know Reduce it a bit if I want. I can select on that one and just pick that point and 
you know, extend it like that. Okay, so that is the other option if you want to create the grids. Now, let me go to the main one, which I highly recommend that you should be using when creating your grids, especially when you are creating grids at different spacing. And most of the times in the buildings, grids are not going to be equally spaced. So now pay attention to this one. So this is the one that you are going to use. Grid with groups by distance. I'll just select on the grid there. And let me say that I want to start from the origin there. That is the first point. So I'll type 0, 0, 0, enter. Okay, so I'm there. Then I'll just click the first point, this side. Let me just move it. The first point, this side. Then the second point, that side. Then you can see from the case there, it's saying distance between grid lines. So I'll start. Example, maybe the first one is 1,300 enter 1500 enter maybe 3500 enter maybe have another one at at 4250 and enter then the last one just enter once you are done okay as you can see we have these grids going in that direction as we specified okay now before i start adjusting i'll simply close this one you can see that that is the space. These are the spacing that I specified. So you'll be reading from your drawing, from your layout, okay? And then, you know, specify according to how your building, you know, is laid out, okay? Now, let me also create the grids in that other direction. I'll simply click on that. Then I want to start the same point, 0, 0, 0, enter. That is the first point. This time, I'll start with that direction. Okay, just click. Click there, then go in this direction and click. Then the distance from the case you can see. Maybe I want to have 2,500 as a spacing. Just enter. Maybe the next one is 3,500. Another one, enter. Then maybe 2,500. Enter. Maybe 1,200. Enter. Once I'm done with the, those specifications in terms of spacing, then enter the last one. And you can see that if I cancel, I have those two grids. Now, let's see how you can start manipulating these grids. If I select on that grid, you see that I can pick that dot there and I'm able to extend it like that if that's what you want. I'm just trying to clean up, then I can just drag it up to there. Okay, escape from there, then I can select on that grid, select on that and reduce it a bit as you can see from here. Again, I can go back there and just reduce like that okay so if i'm happy with the way it's appearing let's start now customizing it or changing the settings in terms of we want maybe the bubbles there or whatever i'll double click on that one first then we have the total there then under the balloon there if i want edging there you can see that it will start appearing then the label start we want to use numbers for this one i'm happy if you want to use small letters you can change but for the first one i want to use numbers as you can see from here Okay, so that is the first one. Then if I go to the sequence there, okay, you see that sequence number one, this was the first sequence. You can see that that was the spacing 1300, the way I specified it, as you can see. Okay, as you can see, this is how it was specified. If I go to the next one, you see that I go to the next one, which is 1.5. This means that if I want to adjust between those two grids, I can even start changing. Maybe this one is... Okay, actually, you are not going to change from here. If you you see, if you attempt to, let me attempt to change from here, maybe, maybe 2000. If I do that, it's not going to change from here, but I'll show you where to change it from. Don't worry. But this will give you an idea to say that you set the spacings co correctly, as you can see from here. This was the last one. Okay, if I go there now, this is where I can insert some additional grids if i want instead of using that option which is a single grid make sure that you just come within here and you are able to add if i just want to add this is grid one is selected if i want to add i uh, if i go if i want to add to the next one you can see it's moving like that i'll just go back to this one maybe i want to add at one meter i have another grid there then this side it means that before and side two side one it's before this one the other side is that one so if i add there you see that on side one then i can add that one meter grid and i can even you see suffix the prefix you say we have letter a there if i add on the other side i can specify this is where you even now change the distance if you want okay 
Uh, let me try this. I think even this, okay, this one is allowing, so I'm able to move that single grid. If I want also to change maybe this one to maybe 800, just click somewhere else, you see that. So this is how you're going to add, you know, single grids, okay? Display type, it's if you want a single axis, you can do that. If I go to the sequence, you can see if I move on this one, this other one in between, can I change to 4,000 after changing to single axis? Is it working? Okay, it's not. So as I said, you are not going to adjust this one from here. You need to exit from here if you want now to change the ones which you you know you you you, you inserted initially. Okay, otherwise you can add the single grids from here and move them as I just demonstrated. Okay, so if I want to adjust this one, you see that I can now just pick this one. Okay, you see I'm able to, if I, for example, I want to add maybe 200 to this one so that this one is much bigger. I can do that maybe, maybe 100, enter. You see that it's going to move. Let me just do it once again. Select on that one, select on that one. You see that I'm able to maybe uh, 500, enter. You can see that it, it expands so that if I just double click on it, I go back to the sequence and I want to select the last one. You see that it has even increased just like that. So this is how you can, you know, you can try to edit. If I just want to have four meters here, I want to remove a 750. I'll just exit, select that one. Maybe let me move inward 750 like that. Then enter. As you can see, then if I go back there, you just double click there. Then go to sequence, the last sequence. As you can see, this is four meters okay so this is very very easy then i'll go the other direction okay from here i just want to change also to edging but this one i want to use capital letters as you can see it has changed in the same way for this one you can add some grids in between if that's what you want if that's what you want single grid if i want to move maybe between after after b i want a, a grid there then I'll use side two because I want it to be there and I can specify maybe 1,200. So there's enough space there. Just click somewhere else. You see that it will be right there. So this is how you are going to create your grids. Let me just escape again. You can go to display type and you see that everything is there. So I highly encourage you to make sure that you use this method for you to create your grids. Again, you see that here it has moved a bit, but if you want to, to move this one, you can just select on that grid and you just want to extend it outward like that. Okay, I think I'm happy now. What is this? Uh, oh, these are the ones we added in between those smaller grids. If I just double click once again, let me just double click once again then you go to single i think i added something here let me keep on going okay as you can see it's even active now you can even change from here if you want uh, the prefix use main grid label you can do that if you want to use the main grid label but i don't want to do that i'll just cancel it it's there okay but the other way if you just want to add the single one single axis but Make sure that you just check within the box there and add the, the, those additional grids that you want to add. Otherwise, you can go to that one if you want and you just add that grid. So make sure that you use this method for you to add the grids and grids are very, very, grids are very, very simple to do in advanced still.